Today, we are going over five or six bourbons that I passed on while I was bourbon hunting in South Florida. Let's talk about it. I'm excited. Let's go. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Carlos. Thank you for joining me bing, 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 bing. here on the Whiskey Corner. Truly appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out the video and checking out the channel. We have a new goal of 2,500 subscribers and I need your help to get there. Just like I needed your help for a thousand subscribers and we got there. We obliterated that, 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 that goal. <laughs> I couldn't find the word for it, that goal and a lot of people want some good stuff. So again, you guys know how I roll. Once we get to 2,500, everybody that subscribed gets put in. Well, we'll change it a little bit, but everybody that is that participates will get a prize or a chance to win the prize. So, need your help, please subscribe. If you're not subscribed yet, that would definitely, definitely help me out. And you wanna be helpful, right? Yeah, I know you do. Anyways, what are we doing today? We are going over five or six bourbons, whiskeys that I passed on while I was doing some bourbon hunting in South Florida. I live in Central Florida and I used to live in South Florida. I went down there for my kids' spring break. We were on vacation. We were seeing friends, family. I was still working, but we did all that, right? And you know your boy was going to do a little bit of bourbon hunting. Yeah, I was gonna hit up the old places that I used to go to, uh, maybe some new ones that uh, I didn't go to before, yada, yada, yada. And there was a lot, guys. I gotta tell you that there was a lot that I passed up on. So wanted to give those to you now. Again, just like everything, this is my opinion. Just because I passed on this, some of them because of the price, some of them for other reasons, but just because I passed on this doesn't mean that you need to pass on it because I believe that it's too expensive. Hey, at the end of the day, it is your money. So do with it what you will. I'm just doing this to educate you and hopefully help you out with FOMO, right? Because I think a lot of us deal with that and we see something, we're like, I have to get it, I have to get it. Even if it doesn't make any sense, I have to get it. That's FOMO kicking in, right? So I was able to battle my FOMO feelings and pass on these, and I wanna share this with you. Before we do that though, want to kinda go over uh, what I'm drinking here, inaugural cheers, cheers, here's to you. That's a little hot, but it is so freaking good, especially at the price. This is Benchmark, full proof, 125 proof, but it is amazing, it is really good, especially at 20 something dollars for what this is. And I thought this was gonna be a good bourbon to cheers um, or inaugurate this video because I've passed on that so many times, not because of the price, just because I really didn't care for it, right? But I passed on it. And these, at these prices, or if everything stays the same, I'm going to keep passing on. So let's get into the first one. First one is Jack Daniels Special Release Twice Barreled Single Malt Whiskey. I think I said it, the whole name, maybe not in the right order, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Now, this one was interesting because I, I, I really wanted this one, and I still do, right? I was able to get the Jack Daniels 10 when it came out in 2021. Shout out to Primo Liquors, because you guys hooked it up, and I got it at a good price, right? Um, this one, though, no. Horrible prices. Well, I seen it from... My initial, where I saw it a bunch of times, was at $300, which I think that's still too much for a $70 MSRP bottle. 
But I kept seeing it in different places. It's not that I'd never seen it. I saw it in a few different places at $300. I did see it at one place for $250. And I was really trying to negotiate with them, trying to see if they would get it down to under $200. And I couldn't, right? I, I, I couldn't get that done. Um, they actually told me that they would rather have it there sitting for months before getting rid of it for less than $250. So, okay, it is what it is. But the most expensive one that I've seen it was at a, lo a store that I used to go to a lot. And these people had it for $3.99. Four hundos. That is crazy, guys. $400 for that. And everybody else has it for $300, right? Except for that place at $250. And then you want to charge $400? That's crazy. But needless to say, I passed on that. And that was the first one that I, I passed on because I was not going to spend $400 or $250, let alone $400, right? Now, in that $400 range, I will say number two that I passed on that they wanted to charge $400 for it. And this hurt again because this was a store that I used to go to a lot. So, not gonna name any names, but this store had a Blood Oath Packed 8 for $400, $3.99. And, you know, I like Blood Oath, it's, it's all right. I don't have a bottle and I didn't seem to care for it and buy it when I've been seeing them at $1.99. But I'm not gonna buy it at $3.99 either. <laughs> Why would I put $200 more for something that I wouldn't buy at $200, right? So needless to say, I passed on that. And quite honestly, I've seen them in other places for $1.99 or maybe $2.50. But for this place to charge $3.99, I, I don't get that. Number three, and this one hurt. I am going to say this one wasn't up in the $400 range. This one was in $399. This one they wanted $389. What is up with this $399, $389 BS, right? Um, so I saw a Stag 18. I just finished telling you guys, or I've told you guys in numerous videos that I have never seen a Stag, except for the one that I bought at a little bit over a hundred bucks, I think. So I'm waiting in line for this lady to tell me the price because I had to wait in line because she had to get up on the ladder to go check it out. And she tells me $389. That hurt. That hurt, guys, because I really love Stag Jr. or now Stag. Um, and I was debating whether, like, while I was in line before I knew the price, okay, if she tells me $200, will I buy it? If she tells me $250, will I buy it? Anything under $200, I'm definitely buying it. And then when she came up for 389, I was like, oh no, hell no, that's way out of my price range, right? And it sucks, but it is what it is. 389, mm -mm. passed on it, and it hurt walking out of that liquor store door. Shout out to James Street though, because he did send me a sample of Stag 18, which I haven't tasted yet, but I will. So thank you, James, because you helped me out with this FOMO. At least I get to taste it, right? So I passed on that and now we move to number four. Number four, I didn't buy it. I did not buy it because of the price. I bought it more because it, it just didn't appeal too much to me. Uh, I passed on it, sorry. Um, it just didn't appeal too much to me. So I like um, Garrison Brothers, right? So this is a Garrison Brothers offering. Um, it's not like I'm, I don't like Garrison Brothers, do I think they're a little bit overpriced? Yes, but that wasn't the reason why I passed on this. I don't know too much about this bottle, and for me to spend 150, which is what they wanted, just on a whim, I was like, uh, I could spend this $150 on something else that I know is gonna be good or I've been hunting for a while. So I passed on Garrison Brothers Guadalupe. If you guys know anything about this, I did hear some rumblings and some people told me about it and people are saying it's good, but again, $150 for just a whim and a hope? Yeah, that's, that's something that I, passed on um but maybe down the line if i see it again i might get it i don't know maybe i'll have to see more reviews 
but comment below if you have any reviews on that and have tasted it and what you bought it for. Last one, or actually two last ones, because I said five or six, the more expensive one, which I'm gonna put here as a uh, honorable mention because I was not gonna buy this one for any more than $50. I have a few bottles there, the most I paid is $50 and I can still every now and then find them at 50, 60 bucks. Okay, I will say, maybe sometimes I find them at like 57, 58 dollars. Um, but this place wanted $150 for Eagle Rare. Yeah, was not going to do that. So I passed on that. Definitely, <laughs> definitely not going to do that. And then another one that I passed on, this is number six, is Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. I love this one, right? Well, I won't say I love it. I like it a lot, right? And, but I have a few bottles already. And those bottles I bought for like 80 bucks, maybe 85 or 90 was the most I paid for it. But this place wanted 120, I think it was. And I don't think it's a $120 bottle, right? It's good, but it's not $120 good, right? So needless to say, I passed on that and I just kept it going. So a lot of these, I will say, I, did, I, I didn't have that FOMO with, but a lot of them I did have, right? Especially that Jack Daniels, that Stag Jr. These were some that I really, would get if I could find it at a good price, but I didn't, so I passed on it, right? And it just goes to show you, you don't have to get everything that you want, right? Because if it doesn't make sense money-wise, if you don't think it makes sense, then stick to your guns and move on. I thought about it, I had that FOMO there, I got over it, now I'm done, it's like whatever. I don't even think about it, but maybe I'll see it again and maybe I'll see it at better prices. But I want to share these with you because this might help out other people. Comment below, let me know what are some that you've passed on. Have you seen these in your area? Have you passed on them? Have you bought them? What were they going for? Let me know, comment below. Love talking to you guys. Please subscribe because that would really, really help me out and it'll help me get to that 2500 subscriber goal you can like or dislike this video that helps out either way it's too long i'm gonna keep enjoying my benchmark here and maybe pour myself a little bit more but i want you to enjoy that whiskey cheers